The apparent assassination attempt on Czech fugitive Radovan Krečir had all the makings of a spy movie. It's understood a remote control device was used to fire bullets from a car. The vehicle was then programmed to explode. explode. Well, joining us now is security expert at Nichols Stain and Associates, Rory Stain. Rory, thanks very much for coming in. How, how easy would, have been, would it have been to, to rig up a car with this kind of equipment? Not easy at all. It would have involved a considerable amount of preparation and planning. And as I was saying on an earlier interview, there are a lot easier ways if you wanted to kill somebody. And at this stage, we still do not know what exactly happened. Was it a bomb that exploded and this was shrapnel that hit his car? Was it a shotgun that shot, uh, shot pellets out of there? You know, you can get uh, various calibers of shot. So you can get from as few as seven in one cartridge to as many as a few hundred um, pellets in a cartridge. Or was it... Um, a number of barrels each filing a single round. We don't even know that yet. But um, it's not something that you could have rigged up in your garage at home. So, so it would require someone with a good technical knowledge yeah. of ammunition? It, well, especially the remote detonation, whether it was detonation or the pulling of a, of a trigger, that requires a, a, a large amount of, you know, of preparation work. I want to go back to those pictures right now and, and have a look at the actual, the, the actual sort of the, the transformation of that vehicle to be able to, to fit that kind of ammunition in. Would, would someone have had to be in close proximity to set it off? No, not if it was a remote controlled device. You know, you can, uh, you yourself would know at what distance you can sometimes activate your driveway gate. And there are far more powerful remote transmitters than. Um, a mere gate or uh, garage door uh, remote control device. So you, did, you needn't be too close, especially if, it's a, if it was a, a bomb that exploded. You'd have to be a safe distance away, but certainly within line of sight because you need to know when your target is in place. Uh, Rory, uh, you know, after repeatedly hearing Radovan Kretsch's story, many people are wondering just how believable it is. Exactly, yeah. It's possible that it was him himself who set it up, as many are speculating. It was equally possible that he was the target of some kind of, of um, you know, attempt on his life. There are too many scenarios and there are far too many questions, far more than there are answers. And I think that we need to let this investigation run its course before we start to speculate too much. So I would hate to speculate now on motive. All I'm saying is that there are a dozen easier ways if you had wanted to to injure or kill somebody right there and you know this is a man who I believe would not be unused to taking security precautions why is he parking his car in the same place every single day would be a question that I would ask and if he's running an, a, a business that has to do with the import and export of gold and gold coins um, presumably there would be CCTV and security camera coverage of that parking lot in that area and somebody must have got out of that car once it had been parked in, in place there whether it was um, you know uh, set up as a bomb or set up as, a, as a, a shotgun or a rifle or a automatic weapon firing out of there somebody would have had to have driven it in parked it and got out and walked away so those are good places to start but just too many questions and not enough answers at this point. Rory Stain, thanks very much for talking to us this afternoon. You're more than welcome. News that moves. ENCA.com.